Hey guys, we're dealing with another example on the conservation of mass, this time looking at steady flow in a pipe. Here's our example. A T-junction splits a flow traveling at 150 kilograms per second into two pipes of varying diameter. Find the flow rate in the 10 centimeter pipe. So here's our T-junction, 7 centimeter pipe up the top. Um, we've got our inflow of 150 kilograms per second. We've been asked to find Q, which is the outflow at the 10 centimeter diameter pipe. So we start with our mass conservation equation. As always, since we're dealing with a steady flow with constant density, we can cancel the first term here. So now we only have to deal with the control volume surface term on the right here. Uh, we need to define our control volume. So we go back to the diagram and we We draw in our control volume. Uh, you can draw it in if you like. Something like that. And I'll explain why I've chosen this as my control volume. Um, and I'm going to call this my surface 1, this my surface 2, and this my surface 3. So really, because we're only dealing with the surfaces uh, in this equation, we've cancelled out the first term, the volume. Uh, we needed to find our surfaces first and foremost. So I've done that. Um, so now we need to apply the second term of the mass conservation equation for each of those surfaces. Uh, for the first surface, we'll have rho, which is constant, v1 dot n one da for surface two we'll have rho v two dot n two da and for surface three we have rho v three dot n three da all of that equal to zero. So we know that an inflow will lead to v dot n equaling negative v, and an outflow will lead to v dot n equaling positive v. So we integrate that to equal rho negative rho v1 a1 plus rho v2 a2 plus rho v3 a3 equal to 0. If we take the row over to the other side, we get a similar uh, equation to what we saw in the previous video, except with three terms. So we've got Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3, essentially. 